Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the Worm, it's Mr. Proton. Uh, today's just going to be like an update on uh, all the things that we've been using and all the updates we haven't done that we said we was going to do. So we're just going to go and go through them. No particular order. And general flapping. Okay, it's going to be a lot of meh, meh, meh and meh. Our journey in sound <laughs> and colour. <laughs> I do want to point out straight away off the bat, I'm not this orange. He is. I'm not. He's been tangled. I don't know why I look this. Look, I'm this colour. He I'm literally put his head out the window and he got tangled. I don't know what's happened. Someone was throwing oranges at the window, he put his head out, smash. Things have occurred and, <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure what has happened. I, I do not look this orange in, in real life and, and worm. He well, looks well, green. He's as as a ghost, to be honest with you. So, <coughs> right, we're, we're just going to crack on, yeah, I mean. No idea what we're doing in this video. I'm totally winging it. Just say, like, yeah, let's do a video. So, that's what we're doing. It's going to be basically pretty much everything from where we buy from. Bloody blah, bloody blah, blah, blah. Just a general. So we're gonna start off with. That, before we start off with that, I do want to point out those guys who have asked for the Vamo video. We really are trying. <laughs> we have tried twice, and it is corrupted lip synced on us twice. So the Vamo video is coming, but every time we do it, it just something goes. The Vamo is destined not to be publicised. We keep doing good. it late at night. I think that's our problem. We just kind of rush it, and it doesn't work. So we're not really not completely sure we've. Today we've reinstalled the drivers and everything, so hopefully that should be coming today. If I can get him convinced enough to do it again, which again, again, <laughs> three times. And the thing is, because it's my mod, I have to sit and go yeah, 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 yeah. because well, it's mine. We've done the the close up one is fine, so we haven't got to redo the close up. We've only got to do the flapping before and after. So yeah, yeah, might happen today. But we've also got loads of other stuff to do. Right. This is going to be an incredibly long video, so it probably is. It's not planned anything, but get that extra cushion for your chair, get comfortable, get yourself a drink, because here we go. V3 or C5, rebuildable from Vision. Replaceable. Replaceable. Very good. We still had no major issues except for the casing coming apart. Still use them now and again, um, but moved off them pretty much. All our friends still use them because that's what we've that's what we got them started on and we um, we've been kind of just throwing money into this uh, vaping thing so I think that's where you start when you move into the whole proper vaping and not using like micro light -like sky cigs replica if you want to call them cigarettes I think the V3 is kind of the first thing you stumble across but it seems to be for everyone that I've spoken to Dan someone that's as well be up to you Dan I know you're going to be watching this um, he again started there recommended to loads of people and there are issues and if you do recommend this kind of stuff to people then they will come back to you as opposed to going to I don't know the vendor um, but there are some issues with it like a little bit of leaking and body matching up and this that and the other but it's nothing that's hard to fix it's you just need to know how to do it's it. an all round good starter so I mean we're not really going to go into any more on that because it is we've what it is we've done an it individual works. review on this and we've put it in our first welcome to vacant video we don't need to show you ins and outs of these devices we may if it's relevant but we're not going to. Uh, we moved off of that onto. Wasn't that? What was it? Sorry, guys. We are so organised, as you can see. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kanger. Fucking kanger. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> onto this, we we like basically thought this could be the next step in clearomizers. We bought that, and um, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Kanga T3, M23, just meh, don't worry about it. Exactly what I just did. Basically. Then we went to this. Well, he went to this. VV Nova, STV, or normal or normal VV Nova. Mangasms for the best clear miles we've had. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, we've tried a few, um, but that is just a, a brilliant, 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 brilliant all rounding little thing. The people I've been getting on Replaceable. Today, yeah, it's, just, it's effectively the same thing as a V3, just works better. Not really rebuildable, but it is. It's a semi rebuildable. All so of these are re replacement atomizers are semi rebuildable. Let's face it, them heads have to be built. Therefore, they can be unbuilt and rebuilt again. It's just whether you are actually have, whether you have the capability to do so. Very customizable. Obviously, drip tip in the top so you can change that. Cases clear, uh, translucent colours, uh, complete metal bodies, or the STV, STVs. which also comes in colours as well, but it just gives you a window so you can see. So that's very very customizable. Uh, that is basically when people say, "Oh, that's." Oh, I did see on an American site. Sorry, button in again. A bastard. An STV, but it's a uh, stainless yeah, steel. It's that goody camera. It's stainless steel, basically the whole thing. 
So the actual body is actually stainless steel, so it's going to fit more with people who've got stainless steel batteries and stuff like Mods. that. But you've Mods. got your window still, so that's that's pretty cool. But that's basically when people now, because I mean, if you are a vapor already, which you probably are, um, if not, do it. It's wicked. But uh, if you're a vapor already, when people see you like that, especially if you carry something like the Vamo or if you've got a Pravari or something, even if you're using an Ego, to be honest, with people looking at you go, that's a bit like I ain't seen one of them before. Get into conversations. They usually are interested and they sort of say, well, what would you recommend? And then I've had people in this week come to me, Dan, can you help me out? I don't know what to order. Can we order this, that and the other, blah, 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 blah. Now, my recommendation to them is always V3, unless you don't mind the size of an over. I say to them, if, are you bothered about how big it is? And they say, well, what, in length? The, uh, the VV Nova is slightly shorter than the V3, but I say to them, if you're not worried about the girth of the device, um, then the Nova is the one by a mile as well. It is the V3 is good, the Nova is just wicked. It's really, really, really good. Um, and again, we've done a couple of videos on the Nova, and you'll know what I think of that. And Worm agrees with me as well. It's just it is a wicked, wicked little. By thing. far the best compromise we found. You could buy. I mean, the people I've been buying for recently or getting stuff for just standard 3.7, a thousand mile battery pass through. Nova, just recommend 1.8 heads, and they will not ever need to buy a device or, or ever again unless they do something and break it. All they need to do is buy heads and liquid. Um, and so, for sort of easiness, they are very easy to use. And in the Nova, or a replacement tank, or, yeah, or a replacement tank, but the Novas in some cases are even easier to use than the V3s because it's got a bigger well to pull the liquid down, it doesn't leak, there's very little that can go wrong with it. So, usually, I think if something goes wrong with a Nova, it's something that goes Less drastically dry, wrong. Dry taste and burnt taste either. They work for But they do happen, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they're not there because when you get to like to the point where you need to refill that or wash it out and change flavour, it you will get burnt taste if you're not rolling that tank. It's so. not all the time though, because I've, I mean, well, not all the time intentionally rolling anyway. I mean, obviously, you move when you're vaping, but I've had it where I've got a burnt taste under the tank up and I can see the bottom of the tank, no liquid in it at all. It has wicked all the way to the bottom. It wicks wicked, heads are cheap, wicked light, wicking system in them. Cores always pretty And if good. you are going to re-wick your own Nova heads, you can put more wick and put it like all the way in the well, so you're going to have more wicks sucking that juice up. I mean, you can do the same with a V3, point out in another video that we re-wicked a V3 head and it was using one mil wick as opposed to one strand of two mil wick and that solved but quite a bit of the wicking issue the V3 did have. So um, these clearomizers are really, I mean, even to some extent, I mean, the dreaded Kanger, I don't like it, don't recommend it. I think it's wank, it leaks, it gurgles and everything else, but the heads are even rebuildable on that. So that's kind of up to you. Maybe you can fix the leaking and gurgling. Some people have out there, but yeah, it works wicked. It still doesn't work as well as the Nova, I don't care what you've done to it, mate. Um, but yeah, the Nova is, is a really good tank. This is where I recommend people to go, unless they're worried about size and when it's all blend, in which case get yourself a V3. Is what kind we've of noticed as well um, with the Vision uh, V3s or CE5s, they've come up with a new CE6, which instead of holding 1.6 mm juice, it holds 2.4. Yeah, it's kind so of girthier and slightly taller, isn't it? It's up, up to you where you <coughs> want to go. I mean, I, I imagine they're going to work exactly the same, they're made by the same company. I'd imagine the only difference really is the body. Yeah. The Yeti head, I imagine, the screws exactly the same. I'd imagine if it, all they've done is made it bigger. Um, so the post and side. A little bit more cylindrical all the way up instead of curving in. Yeah, maybe so it may well be, yeah. yeah. We don't know, we haven't bought one, so. But uh, next is our CE8 metal wick. Metal mesh. Me metal mesh wicking. wicking system. I have to be honest, we haven't used, used it, it as much. much as we said we was going to. Only because. And the only DDAs. reason. DDAs. Well, yeah, we got, we got DDAs, but. The only reason we used this in the first place is because it had the raspberry in them, and when we run out, this is all that had raspberry in. So that's the only reason we kept using it. And um, we can't do a true true product based on a week and a half worth of use because we haven't. I've used it enough to know that it does. If you, well. if you watch the video that we did on the CEA, you'll you probably picked up that I wasn't best impressed with not so much the product but the company. I'd like to go out on a punt and say this is better than a V3 um, because it does work better. Um, and it still has the same flaws of EVH, you still have to roll it, you still get a bit of burnt taste because there is silica wick in there, but overall it is better than a V3, um, it just does it vape slightly nicer than everything else. So yeah, it's not that it's a bad product, but I was not happy with the way that it was marketed by a specific website. If you watch the C8 review, you'll see what website that was. I did say in that video that I was going to go off and write an explicit comment on the review section of it. I do want to point out that I did do that immediately followed by a video for you guys that we was going to upload and with better judgment decided not to because basically I, I ripped into the website um, big time. If you want to go on and find that comment, 
You can't. They didn't post it. No. They wouldn't. But that's how bad it was. They did not post the review that I left. Um, uh, I may have had a few digs at the staff who was basically calling other people liars and whatever else. Um, and yeah, yeah, I wasn't. It wasn't a pleasant was, comment. Yeah, I, w- I didn't slag them off in terms of sort of swearing and stuff, but I, I definitely gave them a dressing down. Uh, and I think they decided not to post that review conveniently for them. So. The product but itself is... After using it to get down to the low bit of liquid, we didn't have much rolling to do. It did wick much better than the V4. Well, not much better, but better. We should point out, though, we but have it's this loads and loads, and it is new. The, we, the V3s did in the first few hours, yeah. so it's kind of it's still a little bit unknown to us. We probably will. I probably will one day, because we've got Raspberry back again. We'll show it again. Ooh, look at all that. Um, <laughs> but I will, if it's Raspberry in it, I probably will use it. So... And I know you're the same. Yeah, I mean. So, so we will do a, a dedicated follow up to this. But it, it looks as good as the other visions. I know the C4s, C5s, and all that. Um, obviously, there's no wick in there, so you ain't got to worry about that sort of stuff. I mean. Because there is wick. Yeah. Well, there is inside, but you can't, there is no wick sucking the juice into the actual body that's in the middle. So it's. I mean, that's the, I mean, I suppose I'll get into that is one upside with it is, I suppose, because when it comes to cleaning the V380 heads, the main problem that we had was when you cleaned them, you get frayed wick come out, and eventually you wouldn't have enough wick in there to stop the, the gurgling and, and the flooding, if anything. With these, I suppose you could just literally bung it in uh, vodka and chuck it back in there. It's going to be easier to clean if you're properly cleaning them. If you're just wanting to rinse them, they're not going to be as easy. So it's kind of take that as you will. But. You should be properly cleaning anyway, guys. Once a week in a bit of vodka is not a big deal. But again, if you're like us and you don't mind taking a little bit of punt and you are still using the uh, v- uh, CE8s and C5s. that C4s and... If you want, if you want to upgrade to the V3 Try or the C5, that's probably a good way to go. Personally, it's not going to be a waste of money because I can't see it because... If, if you're only used to a V3, you're going to go, wow, that's much hey, nicer. It's it's much as well, but when beyond this kind of V3 and stuff now so but, it's, yeah, it's nice it's not bad it's not it's bad it's picked up from the initial review so yeah I've calmed down a bit um, it works still fucked off with it the gives website, you your vapour it gives you your nicotine allowance for the day and it's, it's it does what it says on the tin yeah it? basically it's, and it's for the same price as well I mean if that's it's, it's no more expensive than yeah. the actual V3 and it is a little bit better or yeah. the CE8 5 and then go up to the CE8 so yeah kind of yeah, if I was going to place my money on one of those two products now I would go with the CE8 there you go um, not had long term use so again I don't know what other but it was already might performing a little bit better bit, but off the bat it was performing a bit better and based on that alone I'll probably give a punt on the CE8 so if you like the C5 or the, the V3 vision replaceable V3 or the Stardust whatever you want to call it if you like that and you're looking for maybe something new um, then yeah that's definitely a good way to go I still don't think it's as good as the Nova I do want to point out so if you're happy with the size of the Nova it's not it, it is bigger but it's not it doesn't look as big as it does in the videos no it doesn't no. Uh, it's not as big as how it looks in the videos but if you're happy with the size of the Nova then get the Nova the Nova's just if you want to clear my mind it's outperform it hands down all day long if they can make a metal wick one of them it could be epic. True metal wick, though, please. Yeah, true metal wick. It could be outstandingly good. I think it could possibly compare to the DDA. No. Close to it. Clo- maybe close. You know, I mean, um, I don't it's not going to beat a dripper. They're in different no way. categories. That's I think what you have got to bear in mind. But this with metal uh, metal mesh wick in system could be outstanding. It, it could improve it a lot because you have. It's not minimal fun. burnt tastes you would have no wicking issues whatsoever yeah it could it make it yeah <laughs> it could be I mean if they did that with a metal mesh wick that could be or could improve on a Nova and again if you watch some of our videos if not please do um, it's not much it's not to easy to improve on a Nova especially staying in the same category I mean we, like, we've been using DDAs and I love them but even still it's not like they've revolutionised vaping with it it is a good product it is a lovely dripper, it performs brilliantly, flavour, vapour, all of that is top notch on it and it is all better than the Nova but it's not like jumping from, I don't know, cars again, we'll go cars as an example, it's not like jumping in a cheap underpowered car into a luxurious high powered supercar, it's not that kind of difference um, but you don't know what could happen if they did metal mesh in there, it could be Obviously if you're looking for something that you don't want to be fiddling around with, like re-wicking and stuff like that, your Nova's where you're going to go. Yeah. The DDA is it's not overly tricky, no, it's not, especially if you're buying the cause pre-made, but it's still 
a bit more fiddly and obviously you have got the fact that you've then got to carry a bottle of juice with you and drip 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 I know if you've got a Nova you may well have a bottle of juice with you anyway and you think oh that's not too much of an issue for me it's not for some I can see it might be because you're dripping every 10 minutes you've got about seven or eight drops and it's probably going to do you about five to ten minutes vaping now for me like I said in the DDA follow up that's a good thing because it's five or six drops puff 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 slightly dry back in the case that's my fag time if you like because if you're like us it's when to stop especially if you're on a break it's when to stop vaping and if you've got free rain uh, you can do it all day so that's kind of one of the one of the downsides of the DDA well, probably the only downside of the DDA if you ask me but it is what it is um, we went we've kind of moved a lot of moved into a lot of different areas we, I mean I bought um, an Argo T plus or T2 but the plus just has a polycarbonate tank as opposed to a glass one Pyrex one um, went on to that we haven't even still now haven't had that a month and a half two months it's not been saying this major 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 experiment with mainly because we didn't have the correct wire that we wanted um, which we've only had about a week if that um, and we're kind of playing with the DDAs at the minute to be honest with you the, the Argar in theory could be better than this um, because it's a tank system but it uses replaceable coils of course so you coil your own wick sorry put that in you can use mesh in it as well you can customize it I'm ridiculous amount. you can basically do what you I'm like sure you can mesh it. you can maybe use mesh in this way yeah I'd imagine in the DDA you can mesh it somehow but the only way that's it really working is if you like I said in the other video, roll it, oxidise it to get it into a horseshoe, then oxidise the rest so it sits in that position. Or wrapping the bit of mesh around the wick so the, the actual normal uh, silicon wick is actually wicking the juice into the actual metal mesh. Yeah, that could work. And the, the yeah. coil around the metal mesh. Yeah, I mean, that, could, that could work. We don't know yet. We're going we're, we're gonna to play around with this, obviously, in the future. We are kind of contemplating buying some mesh anyway, so... See so how we go with it. It's just, I mean, I think that's... Although this this video isn't like so isn't scheduled or planned, we just kind of bring up everything. But I think we get on a general on vaping it. chat anyway. Like kind of this is what we've done like in a few months. Um, I know we've moved a lot faster than most, um, predominantly because we, I mean, my, me mainly sit there and just rate YouTube for videos about it. But Worm does quite a bit of research as well. When he finds something he likes to look of, he will sit there and just read and read and read. Yeah, and I, get I'm kind of one of these like he will research everything that he sees that he thinks could work. I sit there and go, I like the look of that. Let's find I out if find it works. Out. Yeah. Yeah, basically, whereas so I, kind of, I try and find something that works, and then if I like the look of it, I might consider it. Whereas when we'll find something you like the look of, and then see if it works. find if it works. Um, and so. that can result. I mean, things, certain things, like, I mean, the DDA was, well, it was on Totally Wicked last Friday, uh, yeah, last Friday or Thursday night. I mentioned it to Worm, they uploaded a shotgun cartomizer as well, which uses two cartomizers. We're not a big fan of the cartos, to be honest with you. The carter tanks are okay, drippers are better, so are the rebuildables. We um, are going to buy a pack of we're five buy a pack bo Bogues. Bogues, yeah, because yeah. we both both of us like the idea of the fact that you can take your little silicon cap out the top of the bogue, fill it with one, one and a half mil of juice, and just it's there as a backup for as Whenever. long as you want it to be. Um, and one day you get caught short or whatever else, it's there. So we both do like that idea. I mean, I should point out as well that it's not realistically practical because I probably won't ever need a backup. That is what I carry with me. Um, three Novas. There's three Novas in there. One's metal tank. There's, is that DCT? there's a DCT, smoked it DCT um, tank as well. Uh, there's a pass through there which I robbed off my mate the other day. A couple of of liquid batteries for me, Vamo. I also carry the Vamo and the DDA in that box as well. So the chances of me being caught short, unless I'm stuck in a woods for a week, are unlikely. But it's one of the things that it's good to have there because I might not need all that if I've got a couple of bugs to back me up, which is cool. So both are like the idea of that. Um, I completely lost what I was talking about. Oh, I was talking about sort of researching products, yeah, move it how far we've gone through it. But um, I mean, obviously, I'm guessing if you guys are watching these videos, you're kind of looking at other things out there as well. If you're not already vaping, you're in. We're trying to give you the most of a broad scale of how much this vaping is and how what there is, and we've. It's incredibly huge I business. Mean, there's so much we haven't even touched yet. I mean, there's, there's but we oh we are kind of like. We sit there and go, if we want something, we buy it. Yeah. We, we, we can't it. not buy it. I mean, I when he showed me the Pravari, I was like, I want one. That, that was it. And as soon as I had the money to get one, but I bought one. It's, it is a bit weird. I mean, I think a lot of people buy what they get and they're happy with it. But 
there is such a big vaping community and world out there and you don't realize how big it is especially if you're just getting into it or if you're not too experienced in it there are so many products so many thousands of vendors so many millions of followers of this kind of stuff it's just it's absolutely ridiculous you don't expect it to be as big as what it is seeing as it's almost like it's like an underground scene it really is because i'd never seen anyone with a mod or anything until i started vaping myself and watching youtube videos um so it is it's a bit it's a bit strange like how I say underground it is but there is so much out there we are nowhere near even touching on or new technology is obviously invented every day and I think part of it the vaping community don't make it any easier um, it's not that they don't try it's just that half of the people out there don't know what they're talking about anyway like and that's not you haven't got a clue what you're talking about it's just you can't possibly have a clue what you're talking about because the manufacturers haven't even got an idea what's going on yet, let alone anyone else. Um, and with the amount of names of things and, and different ways they perform but look the same and perform absolutely the same but look completely different and voltages, watts, ohms, it's just, it is a very, very confusing thing to get into. And the manufacturers don't help either uh, because, I mean, if you do go on there and you do manage to figure out that you're going to need a Nova and some spare 80 heads and a battery, which they're not really recommended. You get start kits, but they're not very good value for money. Yeah, you get a bit more for your money, but what you get is worse than what you really need. Yeah. Um, the manufacturers don't help by not ever including instructions with their products. I mean, I know that Dreaded Kanger, Kanger do include some instructions with some of their newer products. Um, and that's one thing that like you've pointed out, and it mainly is that Kanger products look epic. They do. They just If they look like Kangers and perform like, like vi uh, visions and stuff, wicked, really, really good. We haven't tried all the stuff, to be honest with you, we only tried one Kanger uh, product, which is a T3 or the MT3, and that was enough to put us off realistically. I mean, I'm really liking the look of the Kanger Pro Tank. Uh, we, and I've been we've gone back and forward, it. we have. I mean, if it works, it is going to be epic. Because it looks epic. It's just because it's, if it, it works, that's it, that. But it's because it's Kanger, we, we don't want to take a part. It's 20 quid, isn't it, Kanger Pro? So it's 20 quid. With 20 quid, you can buy two more DDAs. You could buy 50 grams of camphor wire, you're halfway towards a Vamo, you could get new batteries for your Vamo, you could buy an Ego uh, mod, a class it has, very simple mod, but then you could buy that and have delivery and an anti-head for your Nova for the price of that tank. So it is very, uh, it's, it's one of them ones, you kind of got to, I think what you've got to do if you're new to vaping, although you don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money on it, um, you've got to kind of try bits and bobs. Um, you can watch reviews and recommendations as much as possible, but you're gonna know what works for you. And it's not just what performs best, because that is a big part of it. But, like I said, the difference between drippers and an over, for example, is a big difference if you vape a lot. If you're not someone who vapes a lot, and you're just looking for an alternative to smoking, it's easy, cheap, and whatever else, you're gonna go, yeah, it's nice, but you're not gonna have the time to sit there and invest in it and all this kind of stuff. And you're just gonna go, yeah, it's nice, but it's not worth the inconvenience of wrapping coils and, it's not worth the inconvenience of dripping drips and this kind of stuff. You've got to work out what works for you. So if something like a replacement clearomizer system or replacement system, uh, a head system in a clearomizer is what you think is you think is going to work for you, then just try and pick the best one out there. And in our opinion, the best one out there at the minute is the Nova. Um, it just is. It's the best all round uh, clearomizer. It outperforms the V3 in every way. Um, well built, it's easy it's to clean. Well it's more customizable. It's got a larger capacity. It's it's just it is an all round no leakage thing. whatsoever. The only thing I will say is you do get a little bit of condensation at the top when you take the dripper out, but that's a tap tap done job. It's literally not even equivalent of one drop of e juice. That's how little it is and how rare it happens once a week. If that and that's basically where you're vaping it so hard, you you basically take. I notice it happens a bit more on the uh, metal drip tips. I think that's just because the drip tip's colder, so the yeah. liquid's going to condense on it more. It's that's just it. simple. That if you've it. ever that had a only thing. glass of coke on a hot day, you see condensation from the air. That's exactly what happens. It's not really anything that can be done about that. If you're vaping it like a steam train and you have a bit of residual uh, vape in the drip tip, it's going to condense in there. That's not leaking from the tank. That's condensing of vapor. Nothing you can do about that. Um, but it is. It's one of those. You've got to find out what's going to work for you. For me, at the minute, dripping's working for me. It just is. I take it to work. I drip at work. I drip wherever I am. I just we love the drip jobs. Loving the DDA. It's, it's going to take a lot for us to get off the dripper now. A lot. It's going to have to be sank. 
absolutely but outstanding. It's going to have to be something that has all the functionality and usability of the Nova, but outperforms the DDA. And I just, I can't see how it's possible to combine the two. You can't have maybe the Argo. If it's possibly the Argo, but then that has its downfalls as well. It's a lot more complicated. But there to are use. more expensive tank mods out there that you can customize as well. So there's the uh, Frogger that we've seen on a mod site. And that's 160 pound. There's a katana. There's like uh, honestly, this. But it does hundreds. look sick. It, I mean, they look fantastic. But 160 pound. That's what you expect. It's basically the Pravari of the tank. Take the fucking sing to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, that's that's Pravari money, and I think that's overpriced. Not because for it's not tank. worth what it is, but because it's just in its league. It's a lot of money for a battery. Let's put it that way. So it is an incredible amount of money. I think those kind of tanks they were created for the Pravari. Um, and they're going to go, well, if you've got 250 quid to blow on a Bavarian charger, I'm assuming you've got 160 quid to stick on a tank. So, personally, I haven't used one. Uh, I don't think I'm probably really ever going to, one. but I can't see it outperforming like something like the Argo or a Genesis tank or whatever. I can't see it outperforming that to the point where it is worth paying eight times the price for, and you're still having to use the same wick and same wire or mesh in it. Let's face it, that's really where your limitations are, not the system, maybe the system that's delivering it is going to affect it briefly, yeah, and slightly, but not 160 pounds worth of effectiveness. So that's kind of where we are at the minute. The Red Bull tanks are more complicated than the DDAs and the drippers, they just are, especially when you take the DDA because there's no screws involved, it's just really like by finger, so there's no real it's like twist nuts, hardware, it? it's twist nuts, yeah, there's no real hardware required. I think that's one of my well, main you need fingers. You need fingers, um, and that's it basically. If you've got a coil ready to go, or if you've bought them, it's literally take the things out, unscrew, plop it through, up, wrap round. It's, and then screw them down. It's, I think, it's, re it's as close as a rebuildable being properly usable consistently um, as what I've come across yet. Been through right now, we got. I don't even know, no, it's still got batteries and crap, but it no, is. No, but I mean, like the main. The main thing that we've we used, I mean, we used the iCliff 30 and whatever else, but the iCliff 30 reviews down there somewhere, watch it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, the iCliff 30 wasn't bad, just, it's just didn't work properly. It's just um, got a few issues. Yeah. But, but then again, it is the first of its kind again, so it's going to have teething problems. I think that's something with this kind of product is where you've got to, you've got to rem remember that m I'd say 99% of this stuff is manufactured in China. Um, and it's manufactured cheaply to make it cheap for us to buy, uh, because that's what we all want. We want to be able to perform really well and not have to spend the earth. So you've got to bear in mind, if you spend six pound on something, like a V3 or a C8, and it works well for six months, and then you get a body come loose or whatever else, you can either take the step and bond it back on, which well, takes push it back minutes, on. push it back on and deal with the fact that it may pop off again, but it doesn't just pop off, it works out over time, you can see it happening. It's not something you can go, and off it takes a while to do. Um, I think after a few months, you can have to sort of just grit and bear it, or grit your teeth and sort of bear with it, or go, it's quid. cost me six quid. What the fuck do you expect? It's different if you if you're spending. I know cigarettes. People, that's I think that's the main comparison. Is people go, well, this has got to be cheaper than smoking, and yeah, it is. If you buy a Nova, uh, an Ego battery, and you crack on with a few out of your heads um, every other month, it is cheaper than smoking. Even if you buy liquid and don't make it yourself. Which again is sort of easy for you guys if you if you do choose to buy it. Um, <laughs> that then is cheaper than smoking. But then when you go, well, this tank's cost me sixty quid, and this mod's cost me one hundred and fifty quid. They're short term expenses, long term gains. Because if you're happy with it and you want to live with it, and that's what you want to stick with, then it's still going to cost you less than smoking. If you smoke twenty fags a day, I mean, I don't know what they are in America. Head dog, maybe you can tell us. But if you smoke 20 fags a day, you're looking at the best part of seven quid a day. I could have gone through 40 fags a day quite happily. You weren't quite as heavy a smoker as me, but you still would have done more than 20, 20 fags a day. Oh, easily. So you're talking a tennis worth of fags a day. That's 300 quid a month or 450, 500 dollars a month. So over the course of a year, that's thousands of pounds. That's ridiculous amounts of money. So in one year, you could pretty much buy the best mod, the best tank, the best clearizer, the best dripping at you, the best of everything, and it's still not going to cost you more than, like, more than that. No. 
And you could then use and it. And if you all. then get into build, no, making your own liquids, it's going to be even cheaper again. Yeah. And if you're rebuilding your atomizers from your, your Nova or your V3 or your CEA or, C, or not CEA, CE5 or CE4, which is a little bit more difficult with the, the Stardust because you have to actually pull the body off. But we're not going to get into that because we've only seen a video on that. But it's going to work out incredibly cheap. Yeah. I mean, the amount of wire we got on Wick you got, we got for our money for like, what, £35 now? Yeah. £40, including delivery. We can re-wick every one of our Nova heads probably for the next year and a half without with every week and still have let start stuff left over to keep going. Yeah. It's that is I mean if you're prepared to put a bit of work in and re-wick yourself or recoil yourself and you're prepared to put a little bit of work in and make your own liquids, which I prefer because they're customizable, you can make it more PG, less PG, more nicotine, less nicotine. So if it's too much on the throat for you but you like the flavour, you can change that. It's not an issue. Um, oh, I do want to point this out since we found this out the other day. People are getting like a scratchy throat and like a kind of cold sinusy feel to it. Lower your PG. Symptoms, yeah. There Lower your PG because some people are, for some reason are allergic to the PG. So go for a highly VG, if not all VG based yeah. juice. Because if that's the issue you're having and you're going back to cigarettes because of it, try a VG based first and see if that's all set out. Because we've had a friend of ours that, um, well mine mainly, but he, we got him started and he's been having his cold flu symptoms and scratchy throat and all kinds of stuff we researched it a little bit and we found it's the PG that can do it yeah, it's, it's, the, it's not the only thing but it's the main cause is that people have an allergic reaction or just a reaction in general to the propylene glycol and that can get raspy throat sinuses headaches swollenness all this kind of stuff now it is rare I mean of, we know a lot of people that do this and he's the first one to say anything about it but if you've been kind of well, oh well, well I didn't like that liquid because it did that Chances are it was the liquid, chances are it was the PG in the liquid and you're having a reaction to it. Something to be aware of. It's just, it's unlikely, but it's something to be aware of. Um, I think Sorry guys, I got a bit of a raspberry right, hit. Right. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of sat a rabbit and we weren't sure the intention of this video, we're just going through it. But um, <clears throat> I think we all get into vaping for similar reasons. It's either health, finance, or alternate. It's just, it's one of those, one of those things really, isn't it? I mean, or probably all three. For me it was, I wanted to go out smoking, there's several reasons why. Um, one is the fact, it's not even really, it wasn't really a cost factor. Uh, I'm not going to advertise on the internet that I was getting cheap fags, whatever. <laughs> uh, like, do you know what I mean? Through, from other countries, bought over for me and that, but um, that's what I was doing. And um, <coughs> so the, the financial side of it wasn't too bad for me, to be honest with you, because I, I was a tobacco smoker, rolling tobacco with filters. But it doesn't smell nice, it's not good for your health. Um, it's just all round and if people aren't smokers which if you're a vapor you're not a smoker anymore you're a vapor um, you'll know this because your sense of smell will come back and you can smell the smell of smoking it fucking reeks um, and it's just all round a na nasty thing to do especially if you've got kids which I have I don't I've never smoked around my boy I always smoke in a different part of the hell but usually outside basically but I don't want him looking at me sticking fags in my mouth and thinking that's normal um, because although it's normal it's, it's not something I want for him. Um, like we said, nicotine free, get him on that. Get the kids on nicotine free liquid, don't have to give them sweets. Child obesity, gone. Solved, we've solved childhood obesity, just through vaping and a bit of bullshit. But um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of reasons why, and especially if you are smoking tailor-made fags or proper fags, um, which neither of us did, but if you are, it's got to be costing a lot of money. Um, and it's just not worth it, why pay? all that money to have your health inconvenience, something that tastes like crap, you don't really enjoy it, you more need it now than anything. With this, you don't even, I mean, we don't even notice when our nicotine strengths aren't the same anymore. It's not because of the nicotine anymore. So, I mean, raspberry today made it at 12. I've got a bag, it, it is like a, a pick and mix in there. You've got some stuff that's 36 milligrams from when I first started vaping, you've got other stuff that's like five milligram strength. So, but it's not about the strength of it anymore, anymore for me, honestly, I'm said to Worm earlier, I'm seriously thinking about just dropping the nicotine either right down or altogether because I, it's, I don't get the cravings like I used to. It's not like oh, I'm sat in a work meeting after an hour and a half, two hours thinking, fuck me, I just want to fag. It's not like that anymore. I don't need to vape. I choose to vape and I think that's the difference. People need to smoke because they're addicted to it and you think it gives you stress relief but you're not. You're paying for bad health and you're paying to make yourself smell bad. Um, and it just, it's, it's, it's not sensible. It's not sensible at all. So um, yeah, try try this definitely. 
but I think that's why we all move on to this stuff in the first place. Um, and I doubt there's someone out there that's regret doing it. I can't say I am one of those people. I mean, your wallet might regret it if you get into it a lot. Like which, we have. What we should we have? But we don't My spend money we haven't got to spend. It's, it's, it's not really regret. It's because we we are doing this more as like a hobby now. It is like it's one of those things that I I enjoy looking forward to vaping my raspberry. I've got an apple there that uh, I haven't tried yet. I'm looking forward to vaping my apple and it's trying my apple. It's just I think it depends on what kind of person you are because if you are someone who just enjoys smoking but doesn't want really to give it up, you're quite happy with your Nova, your ego, crack on, and you're happy going, oh, do you know what, I, I used to smoke, but now I don't smoke, I do this instead, and it tastes like vanilla, and someone goes, wow, and you're kind of like, yeah, bragging rights. But if you're one of them people who kind of likes to get their hands a little bit dirty and whatever else, I can, like, which I am a bit, worm is a bit, you kind of, you do enjoy just going, oh, do you know I think I'm gonna rebuild my DDA, I think I might try and make it dual core, or I might try and do this out of the other, and you get a sense of pride, so when you don't, you're, yep, that was me, I done that, do you know what I mean, thank you. We've even um, seen videos out there on YouTube of people making like mods out of a log of wood. Mm. You know, I mean, you can. That's that. That is obviously the next level. That's, that's more no. of the mod part than the uh, vaping part. But yeah, I mean, in terms of like your mods, like your van and whatever else, you can just because it comes in a tube. If you are a bit sort of DIY savvy, the chip set in there can quite easily be taken out, hypoxied into a tobacco tin. You can use a battery box that runs it off of two. 3400 my 18650s put LEDs on it put switches on it stick your 510 connection and then you'll carry a backy box a, um, a mod where you actually put like a little music tune in there so every time you press the button to vape it blasts out this little bit of tune it, which it, I can imagine is going to be a little bit annoying after a time but, but you can do it it's, 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 it's there to be done if, if you, do, you really have got from novice no idea what I'm doing fine ego nova you'll be happy for the rest of your life as long as you don't run out of liquid job done and reduce the liquid strengths if you want to give up or if you want to just get off the nicotine reduce it and then just vape zero milligram but if you're someone who kind of gets into this kind of stuff then yeah you can you can do whatever you like are endless. they they are they are pretty much endless and it's such any anything that you can figure out to wire and build you can do yeah they're pretty much and I've, i want to point out as well i think just in general the community if we're going to brand it that the community in, in general it's a nice place to be it is. Everyone seems incredibly friendly. I mean, they do seem to help you out a lot. If you ask a question, they will generally get at you. Maybe not straight away, but they will try and reply. As well as the retailers, Vaporscape.co.uk, LibertyFlights.co.uk, TotallyWicked-Eliquid.co.uk. Excellent customer service. Excellent customer service, and all of them with good products, um, and they're just all around good sites. But I mean, it's very. It seems like a very friendly place to be in the vaping community. I mean, um, they have and you don't get that much now. Once yeah. a year, they have those like uh, uh, vaping. In America, they have a lot more than that. Yeah, but, but over here, they have one a year, don't they? One a year that we know of up in uh, Yorkshire, I think it is. And basically, you have a vape meet, and everyone goes up there and just has a vape. And down to sort of comments. Um, I'm quite sure there's going to be like some of the uh, suppliers there. I know Liberty Flights go to them. Yeah, definitely. And so um, they'll be there, and you can actually meet them. If so. you go to the ones in uh, United States of America land, which head dog you might you might want to consider, you get a lot of the big YouTubers attending these. Yeah. Um, and they go down there, meet the makers, the suppliers, the distributors, as well as their fellow vapors. Everyone just sort of sits around and has a vape. Like you don't get that really anymore. Most of these people, you all pass them on the street and go, "I don't matter, fuck off." But because it's about something, it's a common interest. Everyone seems to be fairly friendly. I'm usually one of them ones that go, "Fuck off," but. When it comes to this kind of stuff, it's kind of good to help people because you want to get people off the fags and all this. Not for anything to do with yourself. It's just it's a good thing to do. It is. It's a nice experience to vape. And plus, and the more people we get on this, the more they've got to let it go. Mm. They've got to let it happen because they are trying to stop it, which we haven't. No, in they, the UK. Yeah, they are trying to stop it in the UK, which we have kind of said on a few of our videos. Not, We're not going to go stop into it. it. They're trying to govern it. Yeah, make it more expensive for us, basically. So, eh, it's one of those. I mean, if we can get enough people on it, so they don't make as much money on their fags and they're making more money off this, then we can kind of justify why it's getting so cheap. Mm. Yeah, I think, yeah it is. I, I think partially like people like us as well, I mean, like say Head Dog, Dan, there's been quite a few comments on the videos, you want to want to look for them yourself. I mean, Dan was um, someone who was using three and a half mil, Dan talking about you mate, three and a half mil um, Carto tanks, quite happy with them, been using them for a long time, buying liquid, buying Cartos. Uh, and he was happy with it. Watch, come across a few other videos since in the last week he's bought himself a DDA, a DIY mixing kit. Uh, he's going to build himself some Cantha wire, some whip, a lot more confident with it after sort of watching videos on how to do it, which is how we know what we know about this stuff because you don't get any help from the manufacturers. Um, and 
yeah, basically, we now he gave us his email address. We had a few email conversations. We now have a chat to him on WhatsApp um, about vaping. Oh, I've got this. I've got this. Oh, I've just ordered this flavor. Dan, looking forward to that smoky bacon flavor from Flavor Art. Yeah, we um, want to know what that comes out like. Definitely, you have to give us a video response. Yes, through, <laughs> through WhatsApp. You don't have to YouTube it. No, you have to YouTube it, but a video but, response um, would be nice. But yeah, we do like we. It's nice to talk to people who enjoy the same thing that we enjoy. Which uh, also is, basically on a level as well, trying to get into the bigger modding's kind of side of it and doing your own stuff which we were there a little bit for because we just kind of throw ourselves into stuff and we do and we we enjoy it sometimes it's an issue though because i'll watch one video on how to do something i think that's it i am a god <laughs> um and i'll just go to a site and go yep that's 50 quid i'll have that because i've seen one video once and i know exactly what i'm doing uh the vamo was a prime example of how to take that apart um it's black though so it does look right from a distance the paint finish isn't great but it will be redone but um yeah it's, it's one of them i think the whole kind of vape scene in general, do as much as you can to help other people. Most people seem to do that anyway. Um, it's just it's just a really, really good thing to do. I, I really enjoy it, I know Worm really enjoys it. We sit here like a couple of steam trains half the time, vaping the flavour, we both enjoy it, and just crack on. It's not about smoking anymore, it's about vaping. And if you're a smoker wanting to start vaping, thinking it's gonna get off the fags, it will, and it'll get you onto this, and you're gonna enjoy it so much more. It's just a, uh, Really, really, really good thing to do. Indeed. Even I mean, if you don't smoke, start. Start using this. Don't worry about it. Smoke. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we've got anything more to go through today. We're kind of flat for a good half hour, 40 minutes now. So, I mean, if there's anything you want us to talk about or to know, research and maybe do something for you, we will try and help you out as much or as we can. product to try and review. If you've got a product that you're kind of interested in. If you come back and say that reasons. frog I went on about earlier, I'm not paying £160 to do a review. I'm sorry, but no. No, no, no. no. But it's equivalent price. I mean, I will go to as far as I'm not talking about people just looking at a product that's expensive and going, yeah, do that. I'm talking about if you're toying with the idea of buying something and you think it's a genuinely good product, let us know our name. We'll do the research ourselves. If it's something that interests us, We'll buy this it. is us. We'll end up buying it. Yeah. So <laughs> it, will, it will be brought there and probably delivered the next day. Yeah. So yeah, if you've got something that you think we are going to enjoy, maybe not so much you want us to review, but something you think we're going to enjoy, chances are we'll do a review on it anyway. But yeah, suggest it to us. Drop it in the comment box below. If you've got sort of something you're not sure about, or whatever, feel free to ask the questions. If you look through the comments before, people are quite oh, apt to, ask quite to reply. If anyone knows of any more drippers that have got the air holes at the bottom, the actual names of them, because we did see one on another site, but we cannot, for the life of us, remember the name of it. But if you know of any more drippers with uh, the air hole coming through at the bottom, where it's actually connected for, between the O rings and that, or even from the bottom where the, like, the CE5s come through, like through the actual two holes at the bottom. Drop us a line. We would love to know where that is, or what it, what the name is, how much it is, any information you can give us on that, or a link. We are looking to buy another dripper so we can do That's a comparison on drippers. I'm not too. I'm not too. I mean, I'm quite happy trying the eye hole and stuff. Basically, I, I don't. The air hole on the side, they sit. They're about a one mil air hole. And for me and or for worm, slightly too loose of a draw, but I think for worm more than me. Yeah. Um, so, I think. If you've got one that's got the L at the bottom, and you've, tr especially if you've tried it and you really rate it, and it's even better if you've tried the DDA and think it's better than the DDA, suggest it because he'll buy it in two seconds. Yes. Um, I I'm toying with the idea of buying a, or looking into sort of some more dripping atomizers after trying the DDA. It's such a wicked little thing. The flavour and vapour from it just it's absolutely epic. Um, and even compared to the Godly Nova, um, the Nova's just not even touching this thing. So. If you've got some suggestions, please let us know because obviously we want to perfect our vaping experience as much as you want to perfect yours. Um, but I think we've kind of touched base on everything. This was just a sort of catch up video and sort of sit here rabbit in. And oh, we, we will apologise for the uh, lack of videos in the last five days. We did have, like we said, lip sync issues, and um, I was at work late one night and we didn't really feel like doing it when we get in. and it's just been a bit of stuff and obviously the weekend Mr. Prana has his boy so nothing we can do about Sunday and Monday unfortunately it's just not going to happen ever on a Sunday and Monday but we hopefully will unless be unless we make them before and then worm uploads and when I'm at mine with myself yeah we have been toying with that but we prefer just to get them out there we'd rather you know, watch five videos a night because I know a lot of like Dan and that he says he just plops head them on head dog as well our head dog as well you, yeah and they just like to sit there with four hours of watching us flap I've noticed the trend developing actually in our subscribers and sort of followers is most of you guys do seem to work nights <laughs> are you tired when you watch these videos i don't know maybe that's why they're entertaining to you i'm not sure but do we lull you to sleep lulls would but, you like um, us to sing a lullaby <laughs> don't say yes to that for christ's sake i'm not listening to him singing it's just not what do you mean, us sing? it's gonna be a duet mate 
I will sing all day. I have got a voice like Pavarotti. I need a random item for the day. Random item for the day, Mentos. Mentos. Is, is, is this your new thing, is it? Yeah, random right. item of the day. Oh, it Mentos. Expects all kinds of things. Well, random item of, out, of the worry. video, I think. Ra Mentos. I don't yeah. know why, but they were there. They were kind of. I had Mentos lining up the um, camera of where I was re wicking the DDA, so. Yeah. <laughs> just so I didn't go out of bounds. So he was just like, well, one of them ones. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> Mentos worked. It did, it I did don't see the problem. To, but um, yeah, I don't know. The, as I say, there's no real intention to this video. It's more just so you can sit and listen to us rabbit about some kind of things that maybe we've touched base on a few thoughts that you've had or made you giggle, maybe whatever. It hasn't been too jokey this one. To be fair, it's just been flapping, flapping. Yeah, it has been serious amounts of flapping. We've had nothing to go. Mainly do, you. Do, 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 do. Mate, I do like to do a flap about vaping. I do <laughs> I like know. a flap about vaping. It's a good. It is good. I, I guarantee you we're going to stop this video and we're going to do another one in a minute, and he's going to carry on. I don't stop flapping about bacon. <laughs> I don't care. I, I will never stop. It's just, it's good. It is good. Right, we'll see you soon, guys. I'll let him do the outro. Go on. Motherfucker. I'm just going to have a lesson. Mr. Proton. He's he been, been the minge. Gay. Um, the worm. We'll catch you soon, guys. Cheers for watching. <laughs>